Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can do a VLOOKUP across multiple files. So first of all, just a quick recap on a basic VLOOKUP. So in this example here, if I select a code, the VLOOKUP brings in the relevant details, springs and the price there. That's the VLOOKUP at the top there. So this table here is called product code. And this cell is called input code. That's why it comes up with the names at the top there. So if I just delete these two off, get rid of them, and just type it in there, a new one, equals V look up. So you need to tell it where to look or what to look at. So I'm clicking on this cell, C2, comma. I want to look at this table, highlighting this table. I haven't named it in this example comma I want to I'm doing the description so I want column two two comma and I want an exact match now you can put false or zero I'm going to put zero and then close the bracket click the tick and I get springs so if I change the code it comes up with nuts and I need to do the same again on this one so I'll just repeat that equals V lookup Look at whatever goes in there, the code, comma. Look at this product code table, comma. Now I want the third column, the cost, three, comma, zero. Close the brackets, check it, click the tick. So that comes back with the, the price. So that's how it works, a basic one works. Uh, and I've not used names. I used names in the previous example. This one, I'm just using cell references. Downside to that is when you pull these form these forms across, you'd have to dollar sign the the C2 in this case and the range. If you use names, you don't have to worry about dollar signs. Now to do the same sort of thing from a different file. So on the right here, I've got a second file open. If I do the same thing here, so I still want to look at this table, and I want to look at that code. So again, equals V lookup open the bracket so I'm looking at whatever goes in there code comma so now I need to go into the other file and select the area that I want to look at now you can see that that path is now huge that's basically just the file path for this file should have put it in documents really but quite often you'll have a big path like that comma I still want the two comma I still want the zero close the bracket, click the tick, and I get the same information. If I change the, the code, I'll get bolts. Bolts is the next one down. So I do that then for again for cost, equals V look up, open the bracket, click on that, comma, go and select the table. Now, my advice is to have them side by side like this so you can see what you're doing because Sometimes when you go just from one full screen file into another file, it looks like it's not doing it and you can you can get yourself in a bit of a mess. Comma this time is going to be three, comma zero, close the bracket, check it, click the tick, two pounds. Change the code. That's picking it up. So if I do the same code on this one, A B G that one gaskets 150 gaskets 150 so that's basically how you can refer to a second file with a VLOOKUP and not worry about whether it's picking up the right information or not so it's just every time you do the formula check the formula make sure you're happy with the results and then you're good to go so hopefully this little video on VLOOKUP across multiple files has been of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one